Look at this mess. Trash in the sand, green stuff in the water. We need to clean this up ASAP, but how? How do we save the beach and the ecosystem in Sims 4 Island Living? Hey everyone, I hope you've been staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Talking about hydration, let's talk about this water quality in Solani. For starters, it's nasty. nasty. The island is polluted. We gotta do something about this. First and foremost, if you're serious about cleaning up the island, you might want to consider joining the conservationist career that came with Island Living. This is the perfect way to get hands-on experience while getting paid for it. Even if you don't choose this career, you can still clean up the island. When you first boot up the game, the island will be in the worst state possible in regards to the pollution. Through various actions, you can improve it. Actually, in fact, it has two other stages other than being very polluted. This is tracked through a point system. You might be wondering, Catchy, the island doesn't look bad. How can it possibly get better? For starters, there are areas that are obviously polluted, like here. More so, there's not a ton of flowers or plants growing or even wildlife around here. There could be more. Even the coral reef could get more lively looking. When you complete certain actions, you might notice this leaf appear near your sim. This is indicating to you that you've done something that's impacting the island's health. Each action has a score alongside it. Depending on what you choose to do, it might take forever or no time at all. Here are some things any sim can do to help improve the island. Free diving for treasure, certain secluded cave events, combing the beach for trash, scuba diving, cleaning up floating trash piles, ash piles, and seaweed. All of these actions all give you a single point. Cleaning up the sulfur pile at the base of the volcano will give you two points. Cleaning up trash piles and assaulting a litter bug will give you three. Confronting a litter bug peacefully will give you four points. If you've joined the career, there are more actions available to you including successfully analyzing a sample, sending research data, surveying invasive species, enthusing about conservation with another sim, and spreading conservation awareness will give you a single point. Writing a conservation article will give you three points. Marine biologists can survey while snorkeling and they can survey the ocean floor. Both of these actions will give you five points. Other ways to get five points would be to enthuse about green energy and about eating organic. If you do a great job at writing a conservation article, or if you spray an invasive species, or create environmental regulation, or if you shoot a nature documentary, then you'll get 10 points. Once this first notification pops up that the island is improving, you'll need to keep an eye out for certain things. Seagulls will now cause issues with the wildlife. Even more so, you'll encounter fish poachers, litter bugs, and anti-environmentalists. To finish improving the island, you're going to have to deal with the seagulls and the people. You can aggressively confront the other sims or do so peacefully. Sims with a high charisma skill are more likely to be successful at convincing the sims to leave the island alone. Click the pop-up right now to learn more about how to level up your charisma skill. Don't forget that you can still complete the other actions, like snorkeling and cleaning up around the volcano. It still works, and it still would help out during this time period, but you should be focusing on the seagulls and the bad sims. What happens when you've done all that? How will you know that it's working? You'll know because as soon as it improves, there will be a pop-up that tells you the island is improving, and another one when it's finally improved. Furthermore, you'll notice the environment is slightly different. The trees will grow greener and increase in density. The corals will grow. There'll be butterflies and additional flowers. It's gonna look beautiful. There are more fish and tropical birds. It's actually sort of crazy how different it is. You kind of don't notice until you look at before and after photos. It's beautiful looking. Plus, when you've cleaned up the island, you'll be able to participate in a few different events, like turtles hatching on the beach! Or, you might be able to interact with a rare albino dolphin in the water. Just like in real life, you can't stop your preservation efforts. Continue to take care of the island by cleaning up the litter, spraying the invasive species, and by chasing away those bad sims. If you keep doing all those actions, then nature will continue to thrive. Have you cleaned up the island yet? What was your favorite aspect of it? For me, I love seeing the aftermath of all of it. The baby turtles, the beautiful flowers, it just makes all the hard work worth it. 
If you enjoyed this Sims 4 guide, please smack that like button, hit the subscribe, and the notification bell. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Bye!